Hey there, this is Home Wizard, Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Strong. And we love to help improve your home and improve your life. Yes, and we do. It's getting warmer, and so I thought we'd talk about ways to cool down without spending bucks and bucks on the air conditioning. Yeah, it was about 900 degrees today, and the air conditioner in my house runs all the time, and I'm sick of it. What I, I need alternatives. Mm-hmm. So we came up with a couple of great ideas. Well, first, before we get to these different methods, how do we just know that our, our insulation is thick enough? What do well, we look for? a couple of things. If you have a crawl space, please crawl up there with a flashlight. And I want you to see R33 is generally the insulation that goes in the crawl space in the roof because you've got, you know, your taller rafters. So that's about, it should be about, you know, 12, 10 to 12 inches thick. If it's flattened down because of time, it's not going to be quite as efficient. Mm-hmm. If you have blown insulation and it's not, sitting up above your rafters a, a little bit at least, then you know it's probably old and needs to be blown in a little bit more, you know, amended, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't have a ceiling fan, an attic fan, sorry, to cool out the hot air that stores in that attic, that's something that you may want to think about doing because, you know, think about it. The the sun hits the roof, that air gets trapped in that triangular roof. It's that, hot up that there. Is your ceiling. Yeah, and if you, an ever, oven. if you ever put your hand on the ceiling at the height yeah. of the summer, it's yeah. literally... Hot to the touch. And what if the insulation doesn't look clean? Does that mean anything? I mean, it's uh, clogged. It's, it means it's probably just old, and it's yeah. probably not as efficient as it could be. So again, you could have more blown in, or you could bring in insulation battens and, and Staple lay it them in out. There. Yeah, you can just lay it down. Lay it there. Yeah, you may even want to go. You know, if you've got if you've got insulation blown in, then you may want to go opposite in the way that the rafters are just so you mm. get like a blanket effect over the top so there's all sorts of things you can do um, but that's probably a good step just to, before you do no these question. other things yeah right? no question and also if you're not if you don't have a um, an attic fan that that vents all that hot air out of your house it's it absolutely will not be as efficient as it could be mm-hmm. so that's definitely a great investment and that that's literally a couple of hundred bucks and someone will do it for you Okay. Check it out. Yeah. All right. What about blinds? I think that blinds, I've noticed that uh, certain times of the day in my home office, boy, it feels like it's just baking. And even with the blinds down, it's still penetrating through this great window, this little bay window that we have. Right. And and when you look at um, modern design as it, as it relates to energy efficiency, most of the time you're always going to see some sort of an exterior... Uh, element that's going to deflect sun, whether it be an awning or a shade or the way the architecture is, so that you're not getting direct sun right into a window. So, so that your first barrier or defense against heat is to somehow obscure the sun from the outside. If you can't do that, then a shade is the next level. Mm-hmm. Some sort of a shade that's drawn, curtains that are closed. Just keep that. You know, it's long. It's the long wave radiation. Mm-hmm. You know, think about a car that's sitting there with the windows up. The long wave radiation gets into the car but can't get out, and that creates the heat. So you want to obscure that somehow, and shades are a great first step. And also, I think, to, to have health, have nature work with you. I like to open up the windows in the morning, yep. and doesn't that feel great? Feels great. And when I talk to you in the morning, you're on the phone, and I can hear... <laughs> Yeah, that's my bird sanctuary. <laughs> you got those. So you're, you're letting the, the beauty of nature, the sounds of nature, but also that morning cool air come in. That's right. And then close the windows, you know, like by 11 in the morning or so before noontime yep. to keep the heat out, right? That's right. Good idea. And also, you know, you can diffuse also some of that light if you want to put some uh, a film up on the windows, you know, to, to hmm. tint the windows to, to kind of, again... Like car window tinting. There you and, go. But for the house. That's right. And that's what comes like a, as a film, right? And that's kind of... It does, of, yeah. It's And it's not... It, it's a little tricky mm-hmm. to install. You got to wet it, kind of like flypaper. That's or? right. It really, it really is like, <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. sticking to you. Has <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. that happened to you? It has happened. Kind of like me, a yeah. comedy routine, yeah. and you're all just mm. the secret to that stuff is you keep it wet. As long as it's wet, you're fine. Then it stays when it flat. When it starts to dry, you're done. Yeah. So yeah, you open the windows. The other thing too, think about if you have a high ceiling, how hot it's it is up there. If you ever climb up on a ladder. To change a light bulb, you're going to feel the temperature difference. So if you do have a, a higher ceiling, you want to get yourself a ceiling fan because it's during the summer months, you're going to have it rotate clockwise and it'll blow the hot air down mm-hmm. and circulate the air around the room. And then during the winter months, you reverse the cycle of the fan mm-hmm. counterclockwise and that actually then 
sucks the warm air from the heaters and back up into the room and then comes down along the walls. So if you do have the fan, make sure that you use those two positions. Summertime, it goes clockwise. Wintertime, counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say with all the heat close to the ceiling that we should just crawl like we're... Yeah, you know, crawl on the army, floor. Army paratroopers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We always have to stay below the laser stay below light. The li- stay below the light. <laughs> yeah. If you have a if you have a traditional, you know, eight or nine foot ceiling, the ceiling fans can be a little oppressive, you know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the designers that I know just can't stand a ceiling fan. They just think yeah. it ruins the look of the room. But let's face it, if it's efficiency and comfort. Who cares about design? I, I like ceiling fans. I yeah. think that there's some really fun ones out there. There's so many websites, you know, where they can just really make it look like whatever the vibe of your house is. True. But I know that some of the old school ones look like they're so 70s yeah, and yeah, yeah. dated. And but there are some great looking fans. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. Frank Lloyd Wright types or, sure. you know, some really neat ones. Yeah. What about a DIY air conditioner? Is that something that we can do, I guess? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, it reminds <laughs> me of living, uh, living in New York City in a tenement <laughs> or something. But, you know, you can do I've tried this before and it does work, but you got to kind of sit right by the fan. You take a bowl of ice <laughs> and then you put a fan right behind the bowl of ice and you sit there and the, the fan blows the cool mm-hmm. ice as it's melting. And you're drinking a beer while you're doing this. Yeah. And you're going, Stella! <laughs> <laughs> with your with your sleeveless T-shirt, you know, that's filthy. It's kind yeah. of that feel. Or maybe yeah. if the water in the bottles that you have, maybe ha- if you have some um, frozen water, huh? Yeah, you could do that. Some of those frozen water bottles? Yeah, I mean, so the, the same thing you can do easily if you just take a shower and then sit in front of yeah. the fan. It works pretty know. well, too. It's I do that a lot, actually. Do you really? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. If I get, like today, for example, I was out there digging in the yard. And I just took a shower, and then you get in front of the fan, and it's like, oh, this is it. Refreshing. Refreshing, yeah. And then you air dry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> who needs towels? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in the summertime especially, I try not to cook on a hot night. Because doesn't that, that just heats up the whole Man, kitchen the whole in the kitchen, house. You bet. The oven especially. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Unless, really, of course, you, you have the speed cook oven. Okay, don't rub it in. <laughs> Here you go again. You've got the oven that cooks a chicken in five minutes. No. I know. I no, know. But, the, but the heat of the oven really does. It makes you feel hot and uncomfortable, and it heats up the house. Yeah. It's not efficient. Even, uh, even you know, computer screens or, or lights that are on, that can also add to the heat of the house. Yeah. So turn them all off and get your fan going. Sit outside in the dark. Oh, in the yeah. cold. <laughs> in the dark and the cold, you bet. What about the pilot light? Does that um, does that do much to cool us yeah. down? Yeah, I mean, you you could actually, you know, a lot of times it's recommended that you turn those things down a bit, you mm-hmm. know, because that's again heat emanating from from a heat source. So the which gas is fire. stove. Yeah. So the gas stove, we would yeah adjust to that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I mean, I, I don't. To me. It feels like uh, you're flirting with a little bit of danger. I don't want to get you to start messing with the pilot light too much because, you know, that can spell trouble. You know, you want that flame to keep burning. Have otherwise. the gas company come do it. Yeah, you could do that. Why not? Yeah. Um, planting trees is always a great thing to cool off the house. Absolutely. I mean, I know that you don't want to have... It's a love-hate relationship because you love the shade, but you also want to make sure that the tree doesn't fall on top of your house in the windy season. But um, how great to have a nice, leafy, shady tree to keep things cooler without making it messy. We don't want it to be messy. Yeah, and again, you know, all this great modern design as as it pertains to energy efficiency always talks about the way to plant trees and how to how to get the shade coming in multiple layers first from nature in the in the form of trees shrubs or bushes and then down to shades and then you know dual glaze windows and so mm-hmm. on and so forth so absolutely shade is is critical and we have a lot more ideas that we will put up on the website like again the whole house fan and the attic fans and so forth but just go to uh, yourhomewizards.com to help uh, stay cool without spending a lot of bucks you bet